Right, Westfield 1.8. The deck, uh, rear diff. It's a Sierra 7 inch diff, and I've uh, tried to put some new oil seals in. Well, I've actually done it, but here we go. There's the seal, the new seal, sitting at the back here. Put my finger on it now. There you go. That's roughly where the old seal was sat. It's not flush with the face here. It's slightly in a little bit. I'll show you that a little bit better. From there, you can see it. It's just sat in off that face a little bit. Why? Well, here we go. This is what I think. Whether it's right or wrong, this is how I'm going to assemble it anyway. This is the stub shaft. There's a spline with a circular groove. That face there is where it uh, sits in the bearing, the taper bearing. The oil seal sits on this face here. There then. What I've decided is that face there sits up against the bearing inside. That's not the bearing, that is the oil seal. It's the next face in, the next shiny face you can see in. Right, so if that sits on the bearing, what we're going to do is we're going to take a measure with the vernier depth gauge. from the bearing face and then push, push it in to the oil seal. Right. I'll do this. Right, as you can see, that'll just stay there. You can see it's just short of touching that face. If I went, it's an old seal, it's in a bad condition because I wanted to drift the uh, old seal in a little bit deeper, but I didn't want to get this stuck inside. So, with a standard knife, it doesn't look good, I know, but uh, it just gives me a width so it'll push the seal in a little bit more without get itself getting stuck. Anyway. Back to this now. Can you see that? It's just short of the face there. So if I put the bearing, sorry, the oil seal, that is where it's sitting. You don't want it up against the face because then it goes that way. That face, when it's running, will run on that face. You don't want that. It runs in the middle ish. Right? So it's running about there. Up against the face, just slightly on. That's what I'm doing anyway. <coughs> to get the bearing in, sorry, oil seal in. I put it on there, the new one. Put it in and tapped it away. Turned it a little bit so the uh, spline engaged and went in until it stopped. So that face went up against the bearing. Then put that on. Put it back in and slightly tapped it in, obviously making sure it engages. And just to tap it in a little bit, take it out, measure it with verniers, vernier depth gauges. You know how these work. You can measure outside diameter, inside diameter, and depth. Okay. Slide it up. Oop. Read it. And that's the depth. Okay, so there's Vernius. That's how to use the depth gauge. So I've used that and that.
to push the seal a little bit further in I've measured it with the verniers yeah and then I know the seal is not running on the face just slightly back from it there you go